After I had made the decision uh, in 1988 to join the Sisters of Providence, I, uh, I went back home and I kind of thought to myself, what on earth am I going to say to my son? Um, and um, so I picked a moment and I uh, sat him down and I tried to explain to him what it is that I wanted to do. Um, he had not been raised in any church and so he didn't really know what sisters were and so it was a little bit hard to explain what all of this meant. And of course, Indiana uh, was kind of foreign to him that I'd be going to Indiana for some time. So anyway, he said to me, I won't let you do this. And I said, well, hmm, to myself, perhaps I'm not going to do this then because I didn't want his, uh, you know, I didn't want him to be disappointed or feel abandoned or something like that. So I just really left it at that and I thought I'll, I'll let this go for a little bit. And about a year later, we were uh, emptying the groceries, putting them from the car to the house. And um, just in the, out of the blue, as we were doing this, he said, well, I'll let you do that, but I'm never going to call you a sister. And I told him, well, I'm not your sister, so you really just have to call me mom.